have the the heaviest tribute, the Bomber Command tribute, which we've also associated, as many of you probably know, is Mark, a U-boat, of course, offered to attack them. They had to run in twice because the depth charges hung up the first time. Second time the U-boat was waiting for them with a 37mm and 420mm. And the aircraft was competition sank as soon as they landed. The Crookshank, the pilot, was hit 137 times, mostly in a comparatively small number of amphibians. You can see the sea landing birds now. The full one of the Russian is flying the aircraft. He's got the floats down and the wheels up. Fabulous out of there. Quite a bit of an autopilot around the ground. Oh, yes. Quite a 12 hour duration. Oh, yes. Got a bit, uh, got a bit heavy. Okay, Diamond Little going off, yes. Uh, the first time, she's for years we've been trying to get down. They've got the K-Rep again. Well, we're here today. It was an enormously important aeroplane, and because the Fortress got all the glamour, Boeing had better PR men. There goes the Fortress, there's our Sally B. Sally B. Um, the Liberator never got the recognition of the aeroplane. The group of Brabant Air Force B-25 made up in uh, 320 squadron markings, which was a, a Dutch crewed squadron in uh, two groups of Royal Air Force. The Mozzie, cruising by, beautiful animal. One, very, 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 Mind that was came later as the first to join the ancient England. These are Brabant B-25, based at Eindhoven. I was air evacuated back to England from Eindhoven, well, back to Brussels. It's a very dull town these days. It's crowded in typhoons all over the place. We don't know if the B-25 is back on his solo run. I think we can throw that piece of paper away, actually. Built in more numbers than any other American media bomber during the war. Very successful aircraft. Very favorite. Next flight, of course, the... ...landed in, uh, in Russia, the crew were in turn. The others all crash landed in China. Most of the group not back safe then. One of the most heavily armed aircraft ever produced. Um, the biggest produced model of the J in this thing, over 4,000 built. Um, now there is a shot for you. open the bomb door, bay doors on the diamond looks. I rather suspect they've been removed to make way for the cabin. Or the cans. The package gun mounted on the side there, just below and behind the cockpit. The colours over the pilot, above behind the pilot's head. It's an awful lot of lead to chuck at people. Nine or ten, uh, the German space, the one more history, they were the first guns, these were the guns information. Three squadron, I think, from memory, took them to Norway. And the, the Hind in number 15 squadron, who were one of the squadrons who keep their. They were the sole fighter defense of Malta. 247 squadron. Took gladiators into the Battle of Britain, defending Roborough. There was one flight at Roborough. Nice grass airfield up on the hill above Exeter. And 263 Squadron, of course, went twice off to Norway. 32 was beautiful of all by blade fighters. The Hector, which was the only one with a lot of dagger. And then behind, developed out of the heart. Much the same characteristics. They presented RAF bombing area with a bomber much faster than their contemporary fighters. And uh, when they 
Air Ministry had become... Um, it was found in 1967, and there's some evidence they were flying. A high point in the Biggin Hill scenario now with um, a demonstration of a World War II attack. The defending fighters had uh, been 